think I'll just go on. Let me try to explain to you the, the rationale for focusing on multimedia learning. Um, if you um, ask people to um, read a little um, passage about how bicycle tire pumps work, I actually took this from the World Book Encyclopedia back in the day when it actually was a paper-based encyclopedia. Um, and the only part that really explains how it works are those last two sentences. Uh, they weren't in italics, I just did that. Um, and what I find is if you ask people to read this and then you test them on the material, they remember about 25% of it, even if the test is immediate. <laughs> nice to know. And um, on a transfer test, they, they have no idea. They just don't, they don't really understand how a pump works. Um, if you add graphics to the text, so I just took the last two sentences, I incorporated them into a very simple graphic that has the pump when the handle's up and the pump when the handle's down, and I put the words next to the part of the graphic they're talking about, this vastly improves people's understanding of how a bicycle tire pump works. So without the graphics, they can't answer the transfer questions, but with the graphics and the exact same words, um, they do much, much better. The same thing for narration, we can kind of explain in a voice how it works. They don't, that does not help transfer performance very much. But if we give them an animation along with the narration, that vastly improves people's um, ability to transfer what they've learned. Um, this shows you uh, the results of uh, nine studies. The black bars uh, are words and pictures as the presentation. The white bars are words alone, and the y-axis is the percent correct on a transfer test. You can see people are doing much better on a transfer test if they get words and pictures versus words alone. This is what kind of gets me excited about the idea of multimedia learning. I think we can greatly increase people's understanding, um, at least in this case, of how things work by including graphics. Is that making sense?